Hey guys, welcome. We are on board a roll-on, roll-off cargo ship, and we're going to do a tour of the engine room. And we're starting off here in the engine control room. We're at the main control console here, and at the bottom of the screen you can see the main engine is turning 93 RPM. Here we have a couple of readouts of main engine functions and uh, just some live data on some of the screens here of uh, engine operation and some auxiliary equipment as well. And we're going to step through here to the machinery space and we're going to look across. We can see the cylinder heads of the main engine. This is a six cylinder uh, two-stroke slow-speed diesel engine. And we can look down below here to the lower level of the engine room. Uh, the engine stands about three stories tall. And we're going to look aft here and now we can see those three auxiliary diesel generators. They're responsible for producing all the electricity uh, on board the ship. Through here we can see the auxiliary boiler. Uh, on this ship we need to produce steam uh, for a number of reasons, one of them being uh, that we heat the heavy fuel oil before it is fed to the main engine. Uh, so this is the, the oil-fired part of the boiler, and this part here is called the economizer, and it uh, generates steam by uh, recovering some of that uh, wasted heat of the exhaust gas of the main engine. Now here you're looking at the alternator end of one of the generators. And further beyond that we have the engine side as well. Here's a little information placard uh, just stating some information about this generator engine. Here we've got a nice view of all three generators. Uh, the two on the ends are seven cylinders and the one in the center is a five cylinder. So these generators are four stroke uh, diesel engines. They operate at 900 RPM constant speed and they burn uh, either heavy fuel oil or uh, marine diesel oil. Up top you can see the turbocharger, below that is the charge air cooler. It's inside we got lube oil filter housings and down here we have uh, the water pump and the lube oil pumps. Now through that uh, silver cover up top, you behind that is the um, fuel injection pumps. And just below the silver cover is the camshaft cover. The individual camshaft covers. And then further below that would be the crankcase covers. So now we got a view of the aft side of the uh, this head level of the main engine. You can see that big exhaust gas trunk there uh, that funnels down into the turbochargers. We're going to head down below to the lower level now and on the right side of the screen we can see the propeller shaft 
and that is connected directly to the flywheel. And this is a uh, this is the main engine. We got um, a direct drive uh, engine here. So that means that uh, at full speed, 100 RPM, uh, the propeller shaft is turning 100 RPM. And uh, neutral, per se, would be zero RPM. And then this uh, this engine actually starts in reverse rotation to give us reverse. Here we see the main engine blue oil plate cooler there and in the center of the screen and up above we have um, one of the charge air coolers for the main engine, so that's um, it's acting to cool uh, the pressurized hot air off the turbocharger before it gets fed to the engine. So here on the, down the side, lower level in the main engine, we can see the crankcase inspection doors. So when the engine is secured, these, uh, these doors can be opened up and we can uh, inspect or do any maintenance necessary uh, inside the crankcase of the engine. Here's a little information plaque uh, with some details about the main engine. Across the forward side here, we can see some auxiliary pumps. We have uh, fire, general service pumps, ballast pumps, and saltwater supply pumps. heading up above, it'll bring us to the mid-level of the engine room. In front of us is our freshwater generator. Uh, it produces distilled water for our drinking water as well as makeup feed and uh, makeup distilled water for the boiler and freshwater cleaning system. Here we have the LT coolers. Uh, these are big coolers that uh, convert or uh, transfer heat from uh, from the closed loop freshwater cooling system throughout the engine room um, and transfer that heat to the, back to the seawater. We're looking down the side of the main engine uh, behind those doors are the scavenger airspace. And here this big cylindrical thing is the uh, scavenger air trunk essentially like an intake manifold for the main engine. And over on the other side we have the charge air coolers. Uh, we see those again um, responsible for cooling that hot pressurized air, uh, charge air, right off of those turbochargers before it gets fed to the scavenger air trunk. Up above here, we see the main engine uh, exhaust trunk or exhaust manifold. And we have the two large turbochargers for the main engine as well. And a big exhaust pipe up overhead that leads down below deck and then up to that exhaust gas economizer.
Up above here we see the main engine start air bottles. So they store pressurized air that is used for starting the main engine. The engine is started with that pressurized air acting directly into the cylinders. It gets that engine rolling. So we're up here on the head level now, and we can see all six cylinder heads in line. Um, you can see some pipes here. The ones down low are fuel injection pipes, and then these braided lines up high are the hydraulic exhaust valve actuation pipes. On the side here, we see one of the main engine fuel injectors. We can see some more fuel injectors here. And that finishes our tour. So that was uh, basically main propulsion and power generation in the engine room. Thanks for watching.